Hey there, Tim from Bopple here. Thanks for dropping by. In this video, we'll walk through the process of refining your Bopple menu. One of the great things about the integration between Bopple and Counter is that the majority of your online menu management can be done within Counter back office. Enabling Bopple will give you access to the online products section in Counter, found on the products page, as you can see here. This feature lets you create a customer facing menu for online ordering partners like Bopple by filtering and refining your existing POS menu. There are two views in online products, preview where you can see how your online menu looks right now and modify where you can make changes to the online menu. Let's take a look around and make some quick adjustments now. The first thing you'll see is all of your product categories. You can navigate down to view the products within those categories and the option sets and options beneath them using the arrows on the right hand side. When you want to go back up a level, just use the back button to navigate. The first thing you should do is hide any categories that you don't want available in your Bopple menu. You can do this by unchecking the show online setting on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and hide a few categories now. You can also choose to hide individual products, complete option sets or individual options. Just use the arrows to navigate and then uncheck the show online setting as needed. Once you've filtered out any categories, products and options that you don't want available, the next thing to do is ensure that the remaining menu items are named clearly for customer display. If you're using any abbreviations, shorthand or special characters, you should tidy up and clarify the names. This can be done by adding customer friendly names in online products. A common example of where this might be useful is if you're abbreviating your coffee names such as flat white and long black as you can see here. Let's go ahead and add the complete product name for these examples. Adding customer friendly names won't change the product name in your pos, it'll just be for the customer display in any connected apps like Bopple. Lastly, if a product has multiple ingredients and that isn't clear from the product name, you should add a description for customer clarity. You can add these in online products as well if you don't have them stored in the products themselves. Let's go ahead and add a description to a product here. We also strongly recommend adding images to your products to make your online menu look great. You can add images via the normal product section in back office. If you don't want the images to appear in your POS, no worries. You can disable the display of images in your POS settings. Once you've finished reviewing and making the necessary adjustments in online products, jump back into the Bopple Venue Manager to import the menu. You can do this by going to the Menu section and then the Import Menu tab. Bopple will automatically sync or import your menu once a day, but you can force an import at any time using this button. Let's go ahead and run the import now. Importing the menu can take a few minutes depending on the size of your menu. On your first import, all of your product categories will arrive in the miscellaneous product group, as you can see here. You can move them to the food and drink groups as necessary using the options in the menu categories tab. As you can see, only the categories and products that we left set to show online in counter back office have been imported to Bopple and the updated customer friendly names and descriptions are on display. Anytime you need to make adjustments to what's on display in your Bopple menu, you can go through this process. Ensuring your Bopple menu is accurate and visually appealing will create a better in-app experience for your customers, resulting in more orders for your venue. Thanks a lot for watching.